The Troy High School volleyball team couldn't get a repeat of their regular season win against Big Fork, falling in three to the Valkyries during the district's play-in match at the Troy Activity Center last Tuesday. It was an emotional end to their final season for the five Trojan seniors, as well as for Troy head coach Jordan Graves. This is only my second year working with them, obviously in high school, but um, you know I've watched them through junior high, through high school, so it's it's hard. <laughs> they have said our. The standard for our team, the positivity, the encouragement is all of them. And that's going to be really missed. The Trojans battled the Valkyries hard, and all three sets were close until the end. The Valkyries overcame an initial Troy lead early in the first set and held it, but the Trojans kept the spread to no more than three points. Troy managed to tie the score several times with power moves such as a block by senior Ella Pierce and an ace by senior Caitlin Talmadge. Junior Talise Beckert served up an ace to give Troy a 2019 lead near the end of the first set. Pierce won the Trojans several points at the net, but Big Fork had the final say, taking the set 28-26. In the second set, the Trojans came out fighting, and freshman Elaine Folkerts made an ace to give Troy a 2-0 lead. After the Valkyries got two on the board, Troy ran a four-point rally with kills by Pierce, Talmadge, Beckert, and senior Montana Rice. Pierce supplied the digs for two more kills by Beckert and Rice, with sophomore Leia Clay handling the assists, and Troy moved into a six-point lead. Big Fork whittled down that lead, with the teams trading off serves as they reached the end of the set. Late in the set, Beckert slammed home a kill, giving Troy a 21-20 lead with an assist from Clay and a dig from Pierce. But things fell apart for Troy, and Big Fork came back, winning the set 25-21. Troy struggled to break a substantial Big Fork lead in the final set, and with the Valkyries leading 14-8, the Trojans didn't look hopeful emerging from a timeout. But a Big Fork error put the ball back in Troy's hands, and Folkers began to close a gap with back-to-back -back aces. An ace by Rice put Troy within three points of the Valkyries, and a kill by senior Izzy Ramirez with an assist from Clay and a dig by Talmadge seemed to restore some hope to the Trojans. But Troy was ultimately unable to overcome the Big Fork advantage, losing the final set 25-20. Despite the loss, the play-in match showed off the talent rising through the Trojan ranks. Our freshman class has eight girls in it, and they've really come together this year. Our C team has really given them the opportunity to play together, to work together, and to really build those skills that they didn't have at the beginning of the season. And, you know, at the beginning of the season, looking at Elaine, just in general, I didn't think much. Because it was just like, okay, there's the rest of the freshmen. Like, I already kind of had my varsity set. Um, you know, towards the beginning, I, you know, I already had five returning girls. And so, Elaine was a surprise for me. She um, she stepped up about halfway through the season. We had a, an away game in Stillwater, and then the next day was in Arlie, and I brought um, Elaine and Adriana. She's also a freshman. Uh, and they played against the varsity for Stillwater. They got some playing time, and that honestly was probably the best thing for me to see what my team was going to be like next year without the five seniors on the court. Because, yeah. I mean, um, well, yeah, five of the seven, because the Loberos, including a starter, are seniors. So I'm literally going to have two girls coming back who played most of the season. The freshmen at the beginning were like, oh, wow, we have a lot of work to do. And so now they're some of the top passers. I mean, Elaine, I mean, you saw her tonight. She's awesome. I'm excited to see where she'll be in three years as a senior. I have really high hopes for her. I have a lot of ideas in mind for her, <laughs> you know, and even for some of the other freshmen, we're excited to see what happens in the off season to really build the team next year. I mean, next year will probably be pretty young. Um, we'll only have one senior returning, and that'll be Talise. I think it'll be a decent season, honestly. I'm really looking forward to it. Graves said that it will be hard to lose the five seniors, but the legacy they leave behind is one she hopes the returning Trojans will carry on. 
the seniors definitely left a legacy for these girls to follow in and some footsteps that the, the freshmen realize how important and encouraging these girls are for them. And they've really been mentors to the younger girls and so I've just been really proud of that fact. So I hope you got something out of that video. If you didn't, feel free to give a thumbs down. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You can subscribe over here, check out some other videos down here, and you can always reach out to me at ben at nwmtnow.org. Thank you.